walking through the prairie restoration site here at the Botanic Garden. Joining me is Dr. Dwayne Elmore, wildlife ecology specialist. Uh, Dwayne, this is about, what, six months into our prairie restoration yep. uh, uh, of the seeding. Of course, last year we spent trying to kill out the weeds. Yes. Um, how are we doing so far? Give us a little update. Well, we got good establishment on the grasses. We really haven't seen the forb response yet, but there's a lot of forb species that were seeded here. So next year we'd expect to see a lot of those. Um, we seeded this in, in you know, early summer and we're at the end of the growing season now and got great establishment. We're still fighting some, some weeds though. Bermuda is a, a tough one. Yeah, and that's gonna be an ongoing process is controlling that Bermuda. Uh, Johnson grass, yeah. of course, is gonna keep coming up. And we'll look at some really good control methods uh, as we progress. Yes. Um, one of the things, we had a real dense cover of uh, a quick growing crop in here. Tell us about that. Yeah, there was a, a high seeding rate put in of green sprinkle top just to kind of um, cover the soil, you know, that first growing season. And right before it went to seed, you know, it was up chest high, had this mode mm -hmm. to keep it from going to seed. Um, you know, you wouldn't have to do that, but we just wanted to give those forbs more sunlight, more bare ground going into the fall and, and next spring. So that's why we did that. Yeah, and rather than let it lay, we actually bundled it up uh, into a bale so yes. that we could get it off site. Right. Um, allows more sun to penetrate. That's mm -hmm. right. A little bit of bare ground is a good thing. And you know, we've got a lot of plant inner spaces here. And uh, you know, if you're if you've only established a lawn, you might think this is a poor success, but actually prairie is very different from a lawn. We mm -hmm. don't want just a dense thatch of grass. We want inner spaces between these plants to allow annual forbs and legumes to, to uh, be able to survive in this prairie. Okay. Now as we head into the fall and winter months, um, I'm seeing uh, a lot of seed head that I can collect on some of our other plants mm -hmm. of prairie forbs. Would this be a good time to go ahead and spread them in areas where I want to have a higher concentration? Absolutely. A lot of them will lay dormant for quite a while. You know, some of them have to be cold stratified, but they'll germinate at different times of the year. Mm -hmm. So this is really an ongoing process. It's not something you can just have happen overnight. It's going to really take about three years before this starts looking like a prairie. Okay. And maintenance in the meantime, but uh, winter maintenance until we get to the spring? Uh, you know, spot spray uh, for for any uh, weed problems that you see, um, and then we can do some interseeding uh, if we're not seeing some of the plant response that we would like. But for the most part, just uh, give it time. Mm -hmm. Patience is a virtue. That's in the exactly prairie. right. All right. Well, thanks for checking in with us on the prairie here. Yeah. Thank you.